Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is how to succeed long term on a plant-based lifestyle and why there might be so many ex-vegans out there. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I do appreciate that. So I'm out here in this beautiful area. I found a new hiking spot and I thought it was a good opportunity to shoot a video. It's really pretty out. The weather's perfect today. So anyway, I thought I'd make this video how to stay on a plant-based diet long term. I've been doing this for over seven years and um, there's a lot of people out there that try it and they don't do well, other people do. So I just thought I'd give some opinions and some views on the matter. The first thing that I wanted to mention and I think it's really important is health is more about just what you're eating. Because a lot of people go, they try and change their diet, try to eat a healthier diet and they just focus that on too much but they neglect other things like fresh air, sunshine, their relationships, exercise, sleep, rest, their job, what they do for a living, all these things. So I think that's one of the most important things to keep in mind when you're trying to get to optimal health is that it's more than just about what you eat. There's a lot of other factors that go into this. If one of those factors are suffering, then your health is probably not gonna be good. And there's a YouTube channel called High Energy Parenting where the guy just made a video and he covered 33 different health topics that he suggests to focus on in order to have great health. So I'll put a link to his video in the description box. Definitely check out that channel. It's a great, it's a great YouTube channel. And again, that video talks about there's a lot more than just food to having great health. So if you just focus on the food, you may be neglecting some other things. So keep that in mind, number one. The second thing is keep in mind, are you getting enough of the nutrition you need and or are you getting enough calories? So it's good to eat a variety of clean, organic, whole plant foods to make sure you're getting everything that you need. Now I'm not big into supplements, but there are a couple things that I do highly recommend. And I think that sometimes what happens is when people start eating a really clean diet, they cut out all the animal foods and they cut out all the processed foods. Some, some people also don't do any supplementation as well. And then things don't work out. They go back to eating meat and all of a sudden they're feeling better. Now, I think one of the reasons for this can be that you need to understand is when you're eating meat and when you're eating you know, some processed foods, they're fortified with certain nutrients that you're not getting if you cut all of those things out and you don't take any supplements. For example, B12, uh, vitamin D, things like that. So let's just say you're even having um, store-bought plant milk. Well, that is a lot of times they put things in that like B12 or vitamin D, some different things that people may not be getting if they cut all those things out. Now, I'm not saying those things are great to eat, but I'm just making the point that is if you cut certain things and you're not paying attention to all the nutrients that your body needs, you may be lacking certain things. So you need to understand that even, you know, grass fed beef, those animals are supplemented. So you're getting some supplements through eating those animals. So a lot of people may not think of this. Okay. So, um, me personally, I eat, you know, a variety of plant foods. I do take a B12 supplement. I get vitamin D from sunshine mainly, so that's the best way to get it because the sunshine doesn't just give vitamin D, but there's other things that happen through sunshine. So that is number one. Secondary would be a vitamin D supplement if you can't get sunshine, but I highly recommend trying to get sunshine. The other thing that I highly recommend is a green powder or a green formula. Now, I don't look at this so much as a supplement because it's just more of a whole food that's been powdered. So it's not really like an extracted supplement. So I take the Marcus Roscrans Green Pro C Mix and I sometimes take the Daily Green Boost. Now I don't sell any supplements. I do not sell any products. And I do that on purpose because I don't want anyone to ever think that I'm just recommending something because I sell it. So I'm just saying these are the, some of the things that I take. 
the Daily Green Boost and the Marcus Rosecrans Green Formula and the Marcus Rosecrans Green Pro C Formula. So you're gonna get a lot of great, a lot of the necessary nutrients um, in those green formulas. They're all raw and all vegan, so you can get these from plant sources. But as far as the vitamin D and the B12, I do the D from the sun mainly, and the B12, I do take a B12 supplement. So those are the only things that I take other than whole plant foods. So yeah, you wanna make sure you're getting enough of everything, and you wanna make sure you're also getting enough calories, because a lot of people, when they change their diet to a healthier diet, you need to remember that the food is much more, there's a lot more water, it's more calorie dilute, there's a lot more water in the food and fiber in the food, so you actually have to eat more volume just to get the calories you would get before. So you may have to eat two, three, four times more volume for the same amount of calories. And that's a beginner mistake. A lot of people don't realize the actual quantity, the bulk of food that needs to be eaten because it's so high in water content, fruits and vegetables, things like that. So make sure you're getting enough of everything you need and enough calories to sustain you. And obviously this depends on your activity level. Um, will be how many calories you need. So as I mentioned, I've been doing a plant-based diet for over seven years. I've also been intermittent fasting for over three years. I'm certified in plant-based nutrition from E. Cornell, Dr. T. Colin Campbell's course. So I do want to mention that I am doing coaching now as well. So I do, essentially it's wellness coaching, fat loss coaching, fitness coaching, anything to do with going towards a healthier lifestyle. Uh, if you need any help, or have any questions on any of that, send me an email and I can definitely help you out. My email is rippedandhealthy365 at gmail.com and that's in the description box below the video as well. It's rippedandhealthy365 at gmail.com. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, the ways to stay plant-based long-term, how I'm thriving, feeling good every day. So thanks for watching everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video and have a great day and we'll see you soon.